Hi there, today we're going to practice adding below 20. So as a warm-up, let's start with a smaller number. Let's start with 6 plus 2. And let's figure out what the sum is, what the answer is. So there's multiple strategies of ways we could do this. And one way you could do is just by counting on. So for instance, we could draw out our 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we can just add on 2 more. If we count up, we have 6, add 2 more, 7, 8, and our answer would be 8. That's one way we can add below 20. Let's try another. Another way we could add it up is by using our number line. So if we count up from 6, find 6 on our number line right here, and count on 2 more, one hop, two hops, we land at eight. So six plus two equals eight. Now notice I started with the bigger number on the number line and not the smaller. If we started at the smaller number here, we could still do it, but it would be a lot more hops to get there. Let's try it once. Two, we're gonna go up six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice we still get our answer eight, but that took a whole lot longer. So always start with the larger number when you're using a number line or whenever you're counting on. Okay, let's start with a teen this time and make a larger number. So let's start with 13 and add on four. So we have 13 plus four. So point to your screen and say to me, what is the bigger number of those two? You're right. 13 is the bigger number. So let's count from 13 on to 4, plus 4. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So our answer is 17. Nice job. Okay, so now we have another set of numbers here. We have three one-digit numbers here. So let's try and figure out how to add them up. The best solution is for you to add up the numbers that you know easily. So we know that 5 plus 5 is 10, because that's our simple adding with by 5s. So let's take a look at this. Can we count on to add up this real quick? Well, if 5 plus 5 is 10, then 6 plus 5 has got to be one more. So if we started at 6, count up 5 more, what's your answer going to be? That's right, it's going to be 11. And then all we have to do is add on that other one right here. Now we have 11 plus 3. Use your counting on strategy. And what do you get? Great job if you said 14. So your sum is 14. Let's try some word problems. Okay, here's our word problem. If you had 6 apples and your friend had 8 apples, how many apples do you have in all? Can you write up a number sentence to help us solve that? That's right, we'd start with six, because there are six apples, and we're adding eight more apples. So what strategy are you gonna use to solve this? You could draw it out, you could count on, you could use your number line, what works best for you. Okay, in this case, I'm going to try drawing it out. I think the drawing it out would work pretty well. So we have 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 apples, and I'm adding 6 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And my answer is 14. You could have also done that in your head by starting with the 8 and counting on 6 more to get your answer of 14. Great job. Today we've been adding below 20. To review, I'd like you to solve this addition sentence here. How would you write 4 plus 5 as an addition sentence? So you'd write it out. 4 plus 5, 
and you have three different strategies that we talked about today. You could draw it out, you could use your number line, or you can count on. In this case, counting on would be your fastest. We'll st always start with the larger number of the two, which would be five. Count on four more from five, and you would get six, seven, eight, nine for an answer of nine. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you more about math.